Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a uh, discussion on the uh, Once Upon the Nile, the Epic of Moses, and and Manny is kind of getting himself stuck inside a little niche here. Yeah, because the whole moving thing is awkward. <laughs> yeah. So the topic, the, the topic of this video is about what is is there. Is there a divide, or maybe there is perceptively a divide between the idea of um, academics and Islamic scholarship, as well as social activism and uh, and campaigning for social justice? Part of it is, hey, are on one side the argument is, hey, you guys who are activists, you're not approaching things from an Islamic perspective, you're not making, you're not Islamic you know, academic enough, whereas on the other hand, the activists are like, hey, why don't you guys be a little bit more active and not just sit on your theoretical high chairs? Mm. At least that's the perception. Yeah, that's, that's, that's um, so, so there's definitely grievances on, on both sides. Um, and, and perhaps there are individuals that, that would, um, that would feel they're a part of, of of one particular community more so than another, and and they may have certain expectations, um, and, and that and that's understandable to a degree. But uh, um, I think, unfortunately, um, individuals from from both parties have um, have perhaps contributed to exacerbating the problem more than necessary, and actually, th there shouldn't be a divide there. Um, and and that's that's something that we that we notice or that we take away when we reflect on the story of Musa alayhi salam, which is that he was someone that was champ, uh, championing you know uh, um, justice and and trying to essentially save a nation from from the depths of oppression. But no, definitely he was a messenger. He was a prophet. He was someone that received revelation. He was someone that acted upon revelation. Uh, and within his um, life experiences and within his story. There is really this sort of um, uh, homogenous mixture of, uh, and there's no there's no divide or divorce between the two, mm -hmm. that, that that the two are complementary, and and one without the other is 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 a deficiency, and so you know obviously there's different personalities, people have different inclinations and different strengths and weaknesses and interests, yeah. and there shouldn't be the sense of competition, or there shouldn't be a sense of of hierarchy. There should be actually cooperation. Uh, and uh, you know those that are more passionate about um, about being active on a grassroots level, they have a lot to contribute. And we have a lot to learn from them. And those that are interested in the in, in the academic aspect of uh, of the religion, that's also something important that we need mm -hmm. and, and that we can benefit from. Uh, so so there needs to be a, that, a open communication. There needs to be adab. There needs to be respect. There needs to be understanding and appreciating uh, the value of of, of each skill set. If right. you will. Would it be fair to say that Musa Saddam was an appropriate hybrid between the scholar and activist? I think all the messengers were. Okay. Uh, that's the, all the messengers were because they, they were you know um, uh, they were people that brought uh, goodness to their to their uh, to their communities and to their. Um, By goodness, we're we're not even just talking about Muslims. Right? We're talking about everybody. Well, the so society as a whole benefited from their presence okay. and benefited from their message and their mission. And that's essentially, you know, this all goes back to revelation. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what, what He reveals is balanced. You know, um, and, and in following revelation, there is a call to action. Yeah. And there is a, a motivation to, to learn and to increase in knowledge. Uh, and and the, the two go hand in hand. Uh, unfortunately, when, when there are certain parameters that are not respected, or there are certain uh, bounds that are overstepped, or, or there is a lack of respect, or there is poor communication, that's when you end up with these unnecessary conflicts. And a lot of energy and a lot of time is wasted when actually there could be a lot of, um, there could be a lot of positive output for the Muslim community and for society at large. And when we see that type of uh, good working relationship, uh, then we start seeing the beautiful fruits of that. Now, what, what is it that you could share that would be an appropriate takeaway? which we could probably also understand more in depth in the program? Well, first of all, there's an appreciation. Mm -hmm. There's an appreciation for the individual, for the, the messenger, and, and there's an appreciation for his, his character and for the way he carried out okay. his mission objective. Um, and, and it's important to start there, to have, that, to have that appreciation, that understanding, that love. 
um, and, and there is also an appreciation for the Quran itself because that's where we get this information, that's where we get the story and, and the way it's told, these important aspects of, 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 of Musa's objective are highlighted. So that's very important. Uh, and and that, that begs the question of, oh, what else is there for me to discover? What other important lessons can I, can I extract? So let me learn more, dig more, read more, right. learn uh, and, and research. Uh, but then also there's the aspect of, can these two, um, uh, can these two methods of, of bringing good to the community, to the society, can they coexist? Can they work together? Absolutely they can. We have a real example of that in the life of Musa, in the life of Muhammad Sallallahu in the life of many scholars um, uh, and, and, and um, so, I mean, I th- activists I, I, in the I, history of Islam. I'm wondering if the appropriate question is not whether or not it can, but I'm thinking, is it even How? appropriate for the two to be separated? No, it's not appropriate. Okay. That's, that's, that's the whole point. Is it, that's not necessary. When they are separated, that's when we end up with deficiencies. Okay. That's when we end up with an imbalance. You know, and, 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 and that's problematic okay. for us as a community and, 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 um, and uh, that's something that hinders us from, from contributing to society as much as we possibly can.